Hey man, hiya. Chapter 4, Trigonometry Graphs and Equations, the last exercise, exercise 4J, and the last question, question 14, another modelling equation. This is meant to represent the volume of water in a reservoir. T is going to be in radians. You can spot that straight away from the pi. And the first part says, now, draw a graph, but not of this. You have to sketch y equals just this part with t. Right, so, and for t up to 36. So I'll need a set of axes, like this. And then, the sine graph has got to go all the way to t up to 36. So how long is the sine going to take to repeat itself? Well, here you can see the frequencies. The frequency of that graph is pi upon 6. Now, the normal period is 2 pi. So this should appear, its period should be 2 pi divided by that number, pi upon 6. Pi's cancel 6 on top, which is 12, which is just what you'd expect. This is going to repeat itself every 12 months. So this graph is going to be, first bit will take to 12, second part to 24, and the third part to 36. That's 24, and that's 12. I don't know how much you need in. Let's say draw the graph of y equals sine pi t upon 6. So that would be it. And since it just says sine, it's going up to 1 and down to negative 1. Now the next part says on the same diagram, draw the graph of y is negative. Well, that just means it's upside down. So it's just going to be the reflection of that going like this. And that part's going to be y equals negative sine pi t upon 6. B. Another diagram, only this time we're going to draw that. On a separate diagram using the same scale, so it's going up to 36, draw the sketch of this thing. Right, so I'll need the axis, like this, only this time it says W of course. And it's going to start at 1.1. So that means it's going to oscillate about a line which is at 1.1. And then go, now it's the red one, it's upside down, and then go down and up by 1. So it's going to go down to 0.1 and then up to 2.1. That's the first cycle. And then I'll just repeat that same cycle three times finishing there, which would be 36, there, which would be 24, and there, which would be 12. Topping at 2.1 and bottoming at 0 0.1, which means it's never going to go dry. Part C, now it says on the 1st of April 1990, so that's going to be a couple of wavelengths further on, because that was the first, the beginning of May 88, beginning of May 89, beginning of May 1990, but this was April, so this was round about here. At that point, when the water level was there, a serious fire required an extra quarter million gallons to be taken out. Well, that just means that pattern's going to drop down by 0.25, since that scale is in uh, millions of gallons. The scale is times 10 to the power 6 gallons. Well, that means from that point onwards, picture will look like this, the red part, not drawn very well, which has been shifted down by a quarter by 0.25. So instead of oscillating about 1.1, you take away 0.25, so the new mean level is 0.85. So it's at 0.85, which means the top of it's going to be at, I'm not, not showing it very well, the top of it should be at 1.85, but the bottom will now be negative but then that wouldn't be really exist because when it's dry, it's dry. So those are just theoretical parts there down below the zero line. Right, what does the question say then? So it's dropped down at that point. It says, assuming this previous trend, in other words, this equation still applies, which is why I've just dropped it down, so the same equation applies, then when will the reservoir run dry unless they change the situation of that by introducing rationing? for instance, which would change that model. Well, that means I want to find out when the volume equals zero. But what is the new equation after that date, the 1st of April 1990? Well, the new equation is going to be Wt equals 0.85 minus sine pi t upon 6, simply because it was all dropped down. You could go a big circuitous route and work out the volume at that point on the 1st of April and then drop that by 0.25 and then feed it back into this equation 
and leave this as a variable to find out what that should come to. And if you go through all that, you'll still get 0.85. It's just the whole thing drops 0.85. So it's going to be dry if that comes to zero. If omega t equals zero, which means I've got 0.85 minus sine pi t upon 6 should equal zero. So sine pi t upon 6, taking it that way and reading it that way, it should be 0.85. So pi t upon 6 is going to be inverse sine of 0 0.85. So you need to find that part. Well, it comes out as 1.016 radians. Right, put that into the all sine tan cos diagram. It can set positive signs, so it's either 1.0 there or 1.0 there. It's in radians. So there's two times when it will run dry, of course, there and presumably whenever it starts raining again or something. And that means I've got 1.016 or pi minus that. That's a bit of a pasty, especially since I, I know I don't need this because it's only the first time it's going to run dry that I want. So I've got 1.016 or using the full value of pi, take away that, 2.126. And I'll put in just a plus n lots of 2 pi, which would be the normal additional part for the general solution for those extra wavelengths, which means t is going to be, I'll need to take the 6 across and multiply, and the pi across and divide. <coughs> so doing that to both of those, well, I'll show it. So 6 upon pi times 1.016 or 6 upon pi times 2.126 and then 6 upon pi times that of course is going to give you 2 pi upon 6 it's going to give you 12 which is what you'd expect so whatever times I get I'll get a repeat of that every 12 months because that's what the model had every 12 months so this first one then comes to 1.940 or the second one is a whoops 4.060 but it didn't apply there, so those would be those first ones. I don't want those ones because this didn't drop until we got to this point. It was like I follow the black curve and gets to here, and then after that I follow the red curve. So I'm looking for an answer that's going to be beyond. Well, that was 24 would be that one, which is beyond 23 at least. So the time I need, so the required t is going to be plus adding on 12. Adding on 24, it'll be that one. It must be 24 onto this. will be 24 plus 1.940. That would be the number of months after the start, after the 1st of May. Well, well, that's two years. So that takes me up to 1990. So I've got 1990. I've got one month after the May. So it's going to be June. And the fraction of the June is this part here. It's 0 0.940, so I'll just multiply that by 30. And if you do 30 times that, you get 28 in a bit. So I've got the 28th. So the date it should run dry on is the 28th of June 1990. There, that was question 14.